So um, now, if we rotate the Earth over here a little bit, okay, I'm going to rotate it about 90 degrees, okay? All right, so let me just rotate that around here. Wait a second, let me rotate it this way. Okay, so the vertex, if we, as we look at this, okay, the vertex here, uh, this is the prime meridian, okay? I just set this, this uh, great circle up so the vertex was going to coincide. The northern vertex would coincide with the prime meridian. If uh, we're going to intersect, this great circle is now going to intersect the equator 90 degrees of longitude to the east and 90, to, 90 degrees of longitude to the west. So uh, if this is, um, this is the vertex right here, we would expect the, the, this line to cross the equator uh, at 90 degrees east in the east direction. And there it is right there. Okay, it's crossing 90 degrees east right there. That's where it crosses the equator. And, um, you know, it also crossed the equator at 90 degrees west. All right. And, of course, those spots where it's crossing the equator are 180 degrees apart. And if I was to continue to rotate this thing around, here's the other vertex in the southern hemisphere. That's also at 30 degrees. It was 30 degrees north in the northern hemisphere. It's 30 degrees south in the southern hemisphere. And those are 180 degrees apart. This is the international date line. So, the uh, southern vertex in this particular great circle is on the date line. The northern vertex is on the prime meridian. And it crosses the equator at 90 degrees east and west. Okay, so great. Now, here's the interesting thing. It turns out that whatever is the latitude of the vertex has a, rela excuse me, has a relationship with the angle that the great circle crosses the equator at. Now, look, the angle that is so this angle, and remember we said that the latitude of the vertex was, um, what did we say it was? It was, it was uh, 30, right? Okay, there it is. We see it right there. It's 30. Well, as we look at this, as it crosses the equator, the angle, the relationship between the latitude of the vertex and this angle from the equator to the great circle, okay? And it happens to be that whatever the vertex is, in this case it's 30 degrees north, or 30 degrees, the angle between the equator and the great circle is also three, 30, okay? So uh, let me just draw that here for you, all right? Uh, so here you go. That angle right there is equal to the latitude of the vertex. Okay, now, there's an angle here as well. That's also from the equator to the great circle, but uh, the angle is always going to be the one less than 90. See, that one's greater than 90. You're going to want to choose the angle that's less than 90. So here's the interesting thing, all right? Uh, it turns out that that angle, all right, let me just, I just rotated this thing around here a little bit. Let me just draw that angle in again there for you. That angle right there is equal to the, the latitude of the vertex, okay? So our latitude of the vertex was 30 degrees. And it turns out that this angle here from the equator down to the great circle, that's also the same angle, okay? That's also 30 degrees, okay? So this is interesting. So uh, now, the question becomes, if I am traveling from my vertex and I'm headed in the southeast quadrant, I'm headed southeast, uh, what angle am I going to cross the equator? Okay, so now, uh, the, what, what course will I have when I cross the equator? So here's an interesting kind of thing we can now do. This is a, a meridian. So that means that this direction up here is north, right? So this is north. And... Our course is always from north clockwise until we reach our, our track. So the question becomes, if this angle right here is 30, what is the course we would be steering if we were headed in a southeast direction? Well, the course would be uh, this right angle, which is 90. Okay, it would be 90. Okay, and then it would be plus the 30 degrees from the equator down there. So there we go, that would be 30. And the whole thing would be 120. So my course would be 120. That would be CN. That's what I would be steering. That's if I had a vertex that was 30 degrees and I was headed and I was uh, traveling towards, I was crossing the equator in the southeast quadrant. What if I was going the other way? What if I was in the northeast quadrant? So I'm, 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 I'm coming from the south. I'm crossing the equator in the northern hemisphere. My vertex on the other side was 30 as well. This is 30, that's 30. So that makes this angle 30 degrees. Well, what if I wanted to know, let me just erase this stuff, okay? So uh, my latitude of the vertex is 30, so that makes this angle 30, okay? That makes this angle 30, all right? So the question then becomes, if, uh, if the latitude of the vertex is 30 and this is 30, well, 
if I, uh, uh, as I'm crossing here, if I want to know what course I'm steering, I'm going to again measure from north. I'm going to come north all the way around clockwise because that's how we measure direction from north. All right. So this angle here is 30. All right. This angle here is 30. The question is, what's that angle? Well, that angle is going to be 270 plus 30. So in this case, it would be 270. Okay. Uh, that's supposed to be a 7. 270 plus 30. Okay. Uh, all right. And there we go. That's how we do that. So if we were looking over here, if you cross the equator steering 143, what is the latitude of the vertex? Right. So to do this, what I'm going to do is, is I need to, uh, I'm going to draw a little something here, okay? So um, uh, I'm going to draw a meridian and an equator, all right? So, uh, and what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to draw my course line right through the intersection of these two lines, okay? So this is my equator. This is a meridian, and I need that so because I'm going to measure uh, my course from north. So uh, 143 is going to be, you know, something like this. I'm headed in that direction, okay? So let me just uh, put a little arrow on there so we all know that's about 143, okay? So from 143 is from north around to here. That's 143. So the question is, what is the latitude of the vertex? Well, the latitude of the vertex is going to be the same as this angle. So now I have this angle, 143, and I have this angle. That's the angle I'm looking for, but I also know this angle. That's 90. So what I'm going to do here to do the math is, I essentially I would go uh, 143, okay, and then I would subtract 90, and that would be that small angle, which is also equal to the latitude of the vertex, that would be 53, okay? So this angle right here is 53. That means that uh, the latitude of my vertex would be 53 north and 53 south, okay? So that's, the, that's how we do that question. Now let's skip down here. Let's do this one. If the latitude of the vertex is 11 degrees, so, you know, uh, that would be, you know, you know, up here in the northern hemisphere, down here in the southern hemisphere. I'm not sure what the longitude are. It doesn't really matter. Uh, what would the course be uh, if we were uh, uh, crossing the equator in the southwest quadrant? Well, what does that mean? Well, first of all, let's get our, uh, our little drawing in here again. So there's my meridian, and here's my equator, all right? So uh, what will be the course when I'm steering crossing the equator in the southwest quadrant? That means I'm crossing towards the southwest, so I'm doing this, okay? So I'm just going to put my little arrow on there so we know that I'm going to the southwest. There we go. We got that. And now uh, 11 degrees is the vertex. That means that this angle right here from the equator to there, that's 11 degrees. It also means that this angle from the equator is 11 degrees, but I'm not really worried about that side because they want to know if I'm going to the southwest, what's the course? So the course is going to be from north clockwise around until I get to my, my track. So I want to know what that angle is. Well, I know this little angle, and I certainly know this angle on the outside because that is 270. So the math for this is going to be 270 minus 11. Okay, oh God, that's terrible. So there's 270, okay, 270 minus 11. And the answer is going to be 259. That's the course I would be steering in the southwest quadrant. If I want to know in the northwest quadrant, I have to go this way, and that would be 90 minus 11. So in the northeast, excuse me, the northeast quadrant, okay, I can be in, in the southwest or the northeast quadrant on this. The northeast quadrant would be 90 minus 11, and that would be, what, 79? That would be the course uh, in the northeast quadrant. Okay, I hope that was helpful.